Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create fills in drops using reverb. So I have my song uh, Flatline here that recently came out. <laughs> And what I did is I used reverb to fill a lot of the gaps, and that will be this track here. This is especially prominent on the dubstep drop. If I turn these off, <laughs> hear, how, hear how empty that sounds? Versus. And you probably wouldn't even notice them. Now it's a lot different than just slapping a reverb on your bass bus. If I did that, if I slapped a reverb on this big old bass bus here, yes, there's a lot of basses in this song, I know. Um, if I slapped a reverb on here, it just doesn't quite work. So how you create these sort of fills is you find a reverb you like. I like using convolution reverb for this. And you set it to 100% wet. From there, you group it and you call this the wet chain. You then create a new chain Oops. You then create a new chain and you call this one the dry. From there, what you do is you toss a compressor onto the wet chain and you actually take the side chain input from the group you're on. So in this case, I'll take it from my base group. And you make sure to take it from the dry part of the rack. See how you can hear the reverb popping up? What I then do is I create a track to resample to. So I take the input from this bass track and I actually take the input from the wet chain post effects. So now on this track here, all you get is the reverb. So I toggle this off, I hit record, I loop, and I just try out different reverb presets. You would do this for quite a while, delete the rack, and then eventually go into this track here, and you simply cut out your favorite moments and you put it onto a different track below. So let's say I liked this one here. I would fade this in. See how that just, see how that just creates a really nice fill in the gaps there. And again, you can't have it every time, and you have to be very discreet with it. You just want the listener to feel it. 
So I usually turn it down quite a bit. And that's it. We've created nice, clean fills. So there you go, guys. This is my track, Flatline. That's how I filled in the gaps with by using reverb. It's an easy way to fill out your song and make it just feel a little less empty without having a reverb on everything washing out your entire track. So if you like this, maybe go support, share the video, share the song. Everything helps. I really appreciate it. So thanks, guys. I'm Kermode. Peace.